Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix OneDrive isn't signed in. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop on my computer and this is how the homepage looks like. So right now, the first thing that you need to do guys is open file explorer. If you don't find this here in your desktop, just go to the start menu and then search for file explorer. Once you find it, go ahead and click on open and then you're going to be right here. So basically guys, once you're here in the left, you're going to find all of these sections here. You're going to find home gallery and right here, you're going to find OneDrive. Go ahead and right click on it. And then here you're going to find all of these options. You can copy it, expand it and so on. And here you're going to find always keep on this device, free up space and under it, you're going to find OneDrive. Go ahead and click on OneDrive. And then here you're going to find view online settings. And right here, you're going to find folder color. So right now, go ahead and click on settings. And this will take you to this window right here. Here you're going to find all of the settings related to OneDrive. Right here, you're going to find sync and backup, accounts, notification, and lastly, about. So once you're here, if you're not signed into the account you want to be uh, signed in with, go ahead and click on add an account. And then once you do that, add your account right here, click on sign in, and then you're going to be able to add your OneDrive account. Once you do that, you're going to find an option right here saying link this PC. Make sure you click on it to link your computer. As you can see, guys, I don't have this option. I have unlinked this PC because my PC is already linked to my OneDrive account. So right now, if you want to sync OneDrive with your computer, go ahead and click on sync and backup. Click on manage backup right here and then enable syncing for your files. Then once you finish, click on save changes and then you're good to go. So this is us guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.